Hey, day 30. <clears throat> it's getting cold. <laughs> um, all right, so we're at a rest area in Ohio. We made it to Ohio. And uh, lots of trees. Reminds me of Virginia. Um, remember when I first moved to California, it was so weird that you could see everything from the freeway. Uh, back here you can't see much because the trees, there's so many trees and lots of forests and stuff. But, uh, let's see. Just had uh, an interview this morning with a, a Tea Party co-coordinator for Ohio um, in Manfield, I think that's what it's called, Manfield, Ohio. She had two really cool horses, and she's really, really cool. Um, one of the cool things that I learned in our interview, let's talk gay marriage, shall we? So, one of the arguments against gay marriage is the word marriage. Uh, they always say, you can't change the word, the, the definition is the definition, you know? And I always argue back, words evolve. You know, uh, voting at first in our country meant white male landowners, and then it meant white males, and then it meant all males, and then it meant all males and all females. So, just the fact that a word is changed, you know, I just never understood that argument, you know? So I kind of pressed her a little bit about that one, and I think I understand where she's coming from. Um, there's something that she feels is going to be lost with the word marriage if we choose to include... Sorry, I gotta keep an eye on Charlie. Charlie! Come here! Come here! Come here! Good boy. Um, there's something that we will... that she'll lose if the... If marriage uh, includes starts to include um, gay marriages, so it's that sense of loss. Now, okay, again, I disagree. I can't really disagree with her experience of loss, right? And here's where I think that experience of loss comes from. She was talking about some of the the language from the Constitution, um, some of the language from letters. You know, I was reading. Benjamin Franklin's autobiography and the the way that he they spoke back then was um, beautiful and artistic. So again, you gotta you gotta check your your instant reaction against people who are against gay marriage. You have to you have to stifle that impulse for a second in order to hear. Uh, come on. Uh, in order to hear what's in order to hear what what they're talking about if you want to understand which I never really did before but if you want to understand why people who are against gay marriage keep say keep concentrating on the word marriage in fact many of them would be fine if we just changed it to civil union in fact I asked her about that I was like hey so let's say we take married the word marriage off of all legal documents so people who are married right now are married in their church, they're married legally, they're married, you know, and but everyone who's married right now in terms of the government is married legally. So let's say we changed all the people who are married, you are no longer married legally, you are now in a civil union legally. Would you be cool with that? And she said yes. Now I'm not sure that she's typical of all people who are against gay marriage, but she said yes, you know. So I understood, like, now I understand. Sorry if I'm shouting at you. <laughs> and hear the cars in the background. Ah, ah. Come on, come on. Come on. There you go, good boy. So, um. So anyway, I understood, like, there's something about the word. And then she started talking about, like, words, you know, texting and, and the way people use language. And we're losing something in our in our culture. So. So I understand the experience of uh, that loss of the word marriage. Um, I'm a little suspect of 
that that's it, you know? But I do understand that that's, that's at least part of it. So that was pretty cool just to see that, you know? Because up until now, whenever anyone's like, you know, you're just going to change the word, I'm like, big deal. <laughs> it's just a word, you know? But now it's not, it's not just changing the word. There's a loss. There's something that's lost, something that she likes that is going to go away. So, all right, I'm freezing. Um, I'm headed to uh, Parkman, Ohio, and then on to New York. If you know anyone in New York that you want me to stop by, I'm being like, uh, I might even, I don't know, it's a little cold, but I might stop at Niagara Falls. I've never been there before. <laughs> nice romantic stop with me and Charlie. Uh, so if you know anyone there, Buffalo, Syracuse, I got a guy I might go visit in Syracuse, and then on to Maine, Boston. So I, I kind of need, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, little light on interviews. I have inter, uh, interviews set up in Philly and one in Jersey, and I think my, my cousin's neighbor in Maine. But other than that, we're pretty light on interviews, so... Uh, Especially in the Boston area. If anyone knows Boston and New York City, those kind of areas, I could use some people. All right. I, uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Hope you're doing great wherever you are. All right, bye.